Now to something um, completely different. What do drills, sewing machines, sound systems and books have in common? You can get them all at your local library. Well, at least in Dalston you can. It's called the Library of Things and it's a new social enterprise that helps people save money and reduce waste by renting out items. Frankie McCamley has been to check it out. A library, for most of us, means books. But this library in Dalston is upgrading its home improvement section by hiring out many of the tools you'll need for the job. We've got everything from cleaning to DIY and gardening. So you can borrow things like a carpet cleaner, and the drill is also very popular. It's part of a scheme that's trying to reduce the cost of items we only need every now and then. It actually started back in 2014 for us, um, a kind of like grassroots community movement of friends, neighbours and community groups came together to bring borrowing to their neighbourhood in West Norwood. So actually um, it's a movement that has kind of existed organically in other communities across the UK and Europe. So in order to use the service, what you need to do is book your item online. You then come to one of the collection points like this one, hit collect, enter your email address and once you've done that, whatever you've booked, is going to be in one of these lockers and for me I'm in number 20 so it automatically opens I then get my item and it's ready to take home and for me of course it's the ice cream machine. The scheme is being backed by the local council. This enterprise is great because you know for two reasons one is because it's affordable uh, for our people. We know we're going through a big cost of living crisis um, in the UK right now and the other reason is obviously because it's great for our climate. Uh, we declared a climate emergency in, in Hackney and you know this is just one way in which how we're hoping to sort of you know reduce uh, waste. All of the money raised through rentals goes back into the service which hopes to expand from six to 16 sites over the next 12 months. Frankie McCamley, BBC London.